Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Okay, outside right now, boy, I'll tell you what, it is still beautiful across the region. The clouds are slowly increasing, but what a day earlier. Wow, all that sunshine, light wind. Finally, a day above average. We went all the way up to 67 degrees, a morning start of 36. And of course, with all that sunshine, no rain drops in the old rain bucket, but that will be changing very late tonight. And tomorrow, right now, we have stars overhead, 58 degrees, the humidity 29%, an east-southeasterly wind between 5 and 10 miles an hour. You go outside the city, it's a little bit cooler with low to middle 50s. Everybody will continue to slowly drop off very, very slowly the rest of this night. And we do have a little bit of rain on the way, probably after 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. That's when it's going to be drifting in from the west so you can see we're still fair for now a few high clouds are trying to increase there's the thicker moisture and the farther west you go boy there's that rain right there in missouri and arkansas that's what's going to get here late late tonight and stick around through the first half of tomorrow big storm system a lot of energy way up there in the atmosphere at the jet stream level developing here in the desert southwest and this is all going to accelerate off to the east northeast towards the Ohio Valley and the upper Midwest the next 24 hours or so. So this is what it means. All right. Here we are right now. Pretty much 10 11 o'clock tonight. Still quiet as we roll through the overnight. Here comes the first batch of scattered showers before sunup. It's going to last on and off through tomorrow morning as well. So just keep the umbrellas handy. Looks like a wet morning commute. Allow extra time to get to your destinations tomorrow afternoon. I think we'll see several hours of dry skies, maybe a peak or two of sunshine, allowing temperatures to warm to near 70. And then tomorrow night, and this is late in the evening through the early overnight anywhere from about 10 o'clock at night to about two o'clock in the morning. That's the window. Well, here comes a cold front. This is a sharp front. In doing so, scattered storms expected to blow through the region. And with the wind energy in place, some of these storms could be strong to severe in our region. Now, the absolute greatest chances for severe weather, like they've been the past couple of days, for tomorrow night, still look to be west of our area, where you see the oranges and the reds an enhanced or a moderate risk for severe weather simply means on a scale of one to five, this is a three and a four. It's elevated here in the local area as you approach Interstate 65 and the metro and the rest of the viewing area. That threat is a little bit lower. It's still there. We have to watch it. We could pick up some scattered damaging wind gusts during this time period. Maybe an isolated spin up something I'm watching for. And again, the timing looks to be anywhere from about 10 o'clock late tomorrow night on into 2 o'clock early in the morning. All right, so let's check the forecast now. For tonight, no problems whatsoever. Clouds increase, a couple of showers late, low temperatures around 52. As we look through tomorrow now, there are your scattered showers the first part of the day. Otherwise, in the afternoon, we'll tend to dry out, go up to 71. And then the chance for scattered storms moves in here tomorrow night. Some of those could be severe. Behind that front, we're dry Saturday, but turning much cooler, just 40s late in the day. On top of that, Vicki, the winds on Saturday, 40 to 50 miles per hour. It's going to be a blustery day, a gusty day. Sunday's the pick of the week, and it looks beautiful at 63 with sunshine. And yeah, here come those 70s, even closer.